if a guy blocks you, that means you destroyed his life, you destroyed him, you destroyed everything for him, and he probably sees you as the devil, okay? Guys don't ever block anyone, like, unless it's really that serious. In this case, if you do get blocked, you're either crazy or destroyed his life, or both, you know? And you can take this either way. You can either take this as like, oh my god, no, he blocked me, I destroyed his life, I'm such a terrible person. Or you could take it as like, you know what, that's an accomplishment. He blocked me, he was real big mad, you know, I destroyed his life, he blocked me. Because us girls, we click that block button, like, we don't care, no hesitation. Like, I see a hate comment, I will click that block button, no hesitation. I see a weird DM, I will block that weird DM right away, right? I won't even have to think about it. But for guys, it's, like, more of, like, I'm not gonna block them because, you know, I might need to, like, hit them up later. I might need to, like, you know, slide back into their DMs later. But no, if he blocks you, <sighs> that man thinks you're the devil. That man really thinks you're a demon like that man does not want to even like ever see a glimpse of you he doesn't even want to see your shadow like if he sees a shadow similar to you he will get jump scared and fucking run he will like head for the forest and run i mean i don't disagree with the reason why she's saying guys will block but she got to understand it's not 2017 anymore dudes really are simping so women are getting blocked left and right because dudes don't want to simp Dudes are blocking women because they're saying dumb stuff and guys are just holding women to a higher standard. So they're really not playing the bullshit nowadays. And that's the honest truth. But women don't want to hear that. And you can tell that women can't really take ills when she says, well, you could think about it this way or you can magically think about it this way and be like, well, that's his loss. Or, you know, uh, he, he real hurt. He real mad. Instead of just taking the loss that, damn, maybe I'm a dummy. But no, they can't. They can't do it. They can't take themselves out of that situation. They have to be uh, some type of cope. It has to be cope for them. They have to cope with it. But, yeah, man, modern women, bro, this is why you just... These types... God, man. Oh, overseas, bro, she would be a baddie. She would be straight. But with this Western mi mindset, born here, it, it just goes to waste. All the value just goes down the toilet. What happened to men pursuing girls? When was the pivotal moment that a man chose to not go after a girl anymore or put in any effort? It seems like guys can just put the bare minimum and not even really put in effort anymore. They don't really care to. Or they're like, why don't girls just go and make the first move and make the effort? When did it become a thing? Now it's like role reversal where they expect girls to be making the first moves, yearning for a guy and chasing him. That is, I feel like, the downfall of why it's so hard to meet someone because men don't put in effort anymore or don't care to put in effort. And a relationship won't work unless the guy likes the girl just a tiny little bit more. He's got, he has to like her just the tiniest bit more for it to work in the long haul. So it would make sense if a guy really wanted to get to know you that he would go leaps and bounds to get to know you. And when did that shift? Because back in my mom's era, if a guy wanted to take you out on a date, he had to go up to you, he had to get your number, he had to go through lengths to try to talk to you, even if you weren't interested at first. How my parents met? They met at a bar, and my dad asked for my mom to dance, and my mom was like, get out of here. She, did, she wanted nothing to do with them. If he had just left and listened to her, they would have never gone married, they would have never had kids, but he was persistent. He wanted to take her out on a date so badly. He was like, what do I have to do to take you out on a date? She was working late their first date, so he went to her work, picked her up, prepped a dinner, took her to a park, just plan the whole thing. Because if a man persisted like that in today's dating world, he would at the very least be called a creep. And at the worst, he'd be going to jail. That is the reality that a lot of men face. So that in combination with the fact that women are not really reciprocating effort and they're not treating men very well right now, there is a large group of men that are saying that it's just not worth it. And they would say that women have asked for it. They have asked men to leave them alone. So guess what, ladies? They're leaving you alone. Yo, this is proof right here. Shout out to her. Uh, I always forget her name. She always does really good reviews. But the main woman in the video, like, it just goes to show you even below average women, guys. Even below average women want men to be chivalrous to them, to treat them like a princess, to treat them like they're uh, a traditional woman when they got more bodies than the cemetery. It is crazy. They still expect men to, this is proof, to still do their own role, the old school, she mentioned her parents. We're not in your parents' day. Your mom is not like you. Your mom probably had less bodies than you did. And it was different circumstances in the dating market. And guys just don't want to deal with you. But 
they don't want to do any work. They want to be able to have you do that while they simultaneously use their feminism, use their privileges, the benefits that they have. They want to be a modern woman while you be a traditional man. That's bull crap. And this is an even low tier women have these uh, same standards because that's all they hear. They're like, I, I want to be I want to be like a, a, a hot woman. I want to be like a young latte. I have options. They get this fake hope, this fake shit, and it doesn't work. And then they, they want they're like 55 years old with cats, plants and dogs. And they wonder why. Oh, how come I never got married? Uh, you know, how come I never had kids and crying themselves to sleep? It's crazy. But yeah, women, they don't want to do no work, bro. They just want to just lay there, be lazy, and hope somebody, hope to God somebody picks them. But ain't nobody picking from these chicks, bro. These these twos, bro. It's not happening. <laughs> it's never happening. I, I just like these women are incredible, these answers. And just just their complaints and their expectations and them just being spoiled and just wanting stuff and just ridiculous, bro. Like little spoiled kids, bro nuts get your passport and get the fuck out of here guys man i was seeing this guy and i haven't heard from him in a week and i was talking to my girlfriend and i was catching her up on him and i was like yeah you know last time we saw each other it was great i haven't heard from him in like eight days maybe he's just busy or has a lot going on she just stops me and she's like not he's just not that into you at first i was like oh. <sighs> okay don't mind my feelings but then i was like no Actually, though, you think somebody that was really into me would just leave me on red mid-conversation for eight days? He's just not that into me, and that's okay. He doesn't have to be, but the sooner I realize that, the sooner I can just move on. Thank you. Next. So I made her promise me to tell me that whenever a guy does something like this to me, to wake me up. Sometimes that's just all you need to hear. She's the type of woman you actually sell the dream to because she's more into it for the lie. And her friend just lets her know, like, the truth. And shout out to her friend and her being kind of logical. And, you know, women, they like to assist and help each other. That's just how it is. Because she said, well, she needs a kick in the rear to be told, hey, you know, you're falling for the dream too much. And that's good for her. I don't know how old her she is. She sounds very pleasant. I don't know. You know, I don't see any tattoos or piercings or whatever. But that's actually pretty good advice to, like, you know, have a friend. That's actually incredible to actually tell you the truth and snap you back into reality. But... Honestly, yeah, guys can literally easily sell the dream to her, and she's she's probably just naive, you know, by nature. But uh, yeah, man, that that's crazy. But hopefully, everything works out for her. Shout out to her. It has come to my attention that men do not want to approach women anymore. I don't know when this happened, but this is the reality of the situation. And I also realized that nobody wants to be on dating apps anymore. I think this summer is about to be feral girl summer. Like I feel like we are finally going to connect with one another and we are finally going to get off the apps and we are finally going to flirt with one another. However, we have an issue at hand. Men don't want to approach women at bars. So it's like, how do we start conversation? Luckily, one of my favorite gifts in life is asking weird questions to people. So I started taking myself out to bars, I'm going out with girlfriends, and I'm trying to make conversation with guys at bars, and I have one question that I have been asking that is working. My favorite question to ask, I ask this on first dates too. I always ask people, if I could give you a private jet right now that could take you anywhere in the world, where would you go? And this one, this brings up so many good conversations. If a guy says Italy, I'm already imagining our honeymoon there. But seriously, use this one next time you're out. And I just feel like this is about to be an amazing summer. And I am so excited for it. Uh, men are not going to do that because men are not really talking to women anymore. They're just done. They're typically overseas. So this summer, men are not going to be off the dating apps. They're still using the dating apps and women are still giving it up on the dating apps. You just don't know about it because you stopped using the dating apps and you're not doing that. But it's the chain of command and the circle of life is still happening on dating apps and it's not going anywhere but the thing is you've been on all these dates she said that she's had to approach uh men now but notice how she's still single and she does not have a man so clearly she's doing something incorrect and it's not working for her or she's maybe too masculine maybe she talks too much or maybe she's just flat out annoying i don't know i haven't been on a date with her but knowing that she's been on multiple dates like this it just goes to show me that she has not been able to lock nobody down, nor does she know that she should lock somebody down. So she's probably going to fall in the basket with uh, all these women that wish that men will start approaching them. But it is what it is at this point.